Hey guys, I'm J8 on occasion, and today we are taking the fight to, uh, well, the Space Marines, aren't we? Which is a right hassle, because that wasn't really the plan, was it? I mean, we had our own plan, so I'm not entirely sure what they are. All I know is that some dude called Benny is ruining them, and um, has decided to tell the Space Marines that we've been naughty, which is pretty funny, because they spawned um, with a Knight Crusader stood right in the middle of them. Their morale has immediately been essentially shattered. They're all broken. They're going to have a third of their accuracy and they're going to take a third extra damage, which is um, astounding. Absolutely astounding. In fact, we can almost take out one of these with a with a pesky Cataphron Destroyer, although it'll, they'll probably all die now. Okay, maybe not. Because Overwatch exists. Oh, well, they're dead. But if, if they hadn't died, then, oh, you just... Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's all good. Anyway, Space Marine City. Where other races have cities, Space Marines have their solitary fortress monastery, a bastion of their kind, part chapel, part armory, where new Adeptus Astartes are recruited and altered using the age-old and pitiless techniques devised by the Emperor himself. Cool. Um, right, and we have a billion flying boys, so let's get all of you in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And, um, we've got some other knights kicking about. Not as many as I'd like, because, uh, well, we had one blow up. Uh, or did we have two blow up? Hang on, how many did we have? Did we have three? Or four? I thought we had four, but maybe we only had three? I think maybe we only had three. Fair enough. We'll get another one, which will take us only three turns. Nice. Okay, I think that's it then. Then we just need to move in, start smashing. And I really shouldn't have let that go. All of these guys can do more damage now. That is That was bad. Really should have just stayed away. I don't know why I didn't think they'd have Overwatch. Seems weird, doesn't it? I mean, of course they had Overwatch. Of course they had Overwatch. Anyway. Uh, that's what happens. It's what happens between episodes. I forget everything that happens. And then I come in again. So, next up. Conqueror Imperative. So, let's see what's in store. Ooh, you know, it's actually going to be these buildings, I think. Oh, nope, only two damage. Never mind, I really thought that would be doing the most damage. But that was not the case. Really, that's it. That's all you're doing. Well, all right then. So, when the enemy close in, the tech priests controlling each mana pool in, uh, in load Conqueror imperative, Imperatives that boost the martial subroutines of their Skatarii minions and galvanize them into physical action at the expense of their more elaborate targeting programs. Alright. <laughs> cool. Sounds... sounds whack. Uh, right, you guys charge in. And yes, they will be getting some shots off at us, but that's okay. We're gonna stand on some lads. And we're going to start blasting things. So, what can I blast? Let's uh, try and destroy that, for starters. So, trod on one, blow up another. Um, you have your Jikero digital weapon. That's not really going to do much. It does better against these tanks. It really does. So, um, let's see. Wow, you can just straight up murder them. That's great. Let's do that. Let's destroy one of these two. You can start slashing away at them. And, um... Yeah, I guess I'll, uh, shoot that guy. You yeah, know, it's fine. Good enough. Alright, you start heading towards that guy. Uh, you haven't attacked yet. Let's move you up. Take out one of them. Some overwatch fire, because of course they didn't all attack, which is strange. And you can shoot him. Uh, you can move in. Get another shot off at them. That'll destroy them. So plenty of Overwatch is going on, but I mean, we're fine. We're fine. They have no morale. They're just getting absolutely slaughtered. Space Marines just huddled. Just huddled. Against the water. It's embarrassing. This guy's supposed to be the... the the greatest soldiers of, uh, of, of the, the, whatever the hell. The Imperium of Man. Alright, let's just 
tase these guys to death because we can't. Chair. Idiot. All right. Let's move and... Oh, you can level up. That sounds nice. Get a better taser. Good. So we have uh, no... Oh, wow, it's going to take two turns to research. Oh, no. Why is that? Uh, what am I looking at? Research. Here we go. A little bit lower from loyalty. We do lose some from resource shortage. So that will affect production by the looks of it. So we do want to make sure that we get our energy back. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, resource shortages are affecting everything. That's okay. We're still building this stuff. It's not so bad. We'll, we'll be in the black again soon. Okay. Yeah, you guys keep blasting. It's all fine. They'll just wander off and heal up and come back. Yep, you keep going. The Umbran Citadel. Cool name. Alright. Uh, you stand back here. And... Yeah, I guess you can start killing them. We'll finish off you. You can stomp on that guy. Um... Guess you finish them. Move in. We'll use this to destroy that. Um, can't quite kill them, but I can if I use Hammer of Wrath. I can take out a whole unit of Terminators. They can overwatch, but I mean, so what? We we take no damage. <laughs> God, these guys are sturdy. So they're dead. Let's attack them next. It's not going to do too much damage, but I can finish them off with the tank. Um, almost take out them. Oh, we can't quite finish them off, even with the hammer of wrath. Or did you not do Oh, yeah, you did do it. There wasn't enough, though. That's fine. And, yep, now that you're a little closer, you can get the kill. Alright, you can move a little closer, too. Get a last hit on them as well. Alright, so the space marines are basically all dead. There's just, there's nothing stopping us here. Uh, okay, one more turn and we'll have the Sakaldian infiltrators that we need to, to move next to this fortress. And there will be nothing getting in the way of them by the looks of it. Looks like there'll be nothing stopping us. Oh, and you should probably move out here too, yeah? Good lad. And you. Good. Okay, what's next? You guys will loiter. Perfect. Alright. Alright. Some shots being fired, nothing major. Even the big old Vindicator. Vindicators are cool. Yeah, being broken is really helping us. We're doing a lot less damage. Although, I mean, the ridiculous amount of upgrades we got. Like, plus 10%, plus 10%, plus 10%. So yeah, that's 30% extra damage, 10% extra hit... Oh no, 20% extra hit points. 10% damage reduction. And also, lower... Um, Morale loss. I think that's just because it's the plane. But hey, Onager Dune Crueler. Which, I'd quite like to see these guys in action, actually. Doctrina Imperative's walker unit focused on exterminating flying units, which we haven't really had to worry about. Onager Dune Crueler's decimate the foes of the Skitarii, whilst channeling great swathes of battlefield information to their masters high above. Squadrons of these versatile walkers clank to, uh, to war in long columns that stalk forwards in uncanny unison. Clambering over shattered ruins and wading through toxic runoff without breaking stride, the enemies of the cult mechanicus have good reason to fear the Dune Crawler, for these ornate monsters are protected by overlapping uh, enamitous force fields and bear some of the most esoteric and destructive tank portable weaponry the tech priests can devise. Ooh, let's get that Cognis Heavy Stubber, shall we? Even though it seems to do nothing. What is your deal? Uh... So three attacks for two damage, armor penetration of one. Like, what's the point? That's something we can unlock, apparently. I don't know. Presumably, someone finds that cool. So, uh, let's stamp on a tank. You know, this weed will actually do more damage to us than anything else. Which is kind of annoying. 
And I'll shoot them. And... Let's finish them off. The injured one can start shooting there. And... I suppose to start taking pot shots at this guy. Okay, how are we looking? Alright, you guys move up. You move up. And, oh yeah, you move up too. Alright, they'll be dead in a sec. Good. Alright, so that's most of the enemies dead. Uh, and there's the Sicardian infiltrators. Let's get you in here. Well, I've just cleared out in no time. Oh, in fact, we can clear out another one there. Brilliant. So, three units left. There were so many. There were so many units. Choose research. Voices in the code. So how long before you get there? One, two, three turns. Alright. Not bad. In fact, I might move him... Yeah, I'll let them move like that. That'll be fine. We're taking tiny amounts of damage from this guy. If I get... Yeah, if I get uh, our tech priest Manipulus up here, I can just heal them. So, you know. No harm done, basically. So let's tread on this tank. Tech Priest Dominus can almost kill one with a digital weapon. And you can kill one in melee. And you can kill the other one in melee. And then I also have tanks. They're not doing anything. I just, I just wanted to mention them. I think they're cool. Okay. Keep moving. And yeah, you just head over there. Go hang out in the city. You know, take some take some time off. So one more turn for that electricity building. Three more turns for that one. We will eventually, eventually have have time. Okay, I don't know what to do with him now. I'm gonna electrocute that guy because I can. Ah, tickled you. Right. Uh, oh, hang on. You can finish him off, can you? Oh, good. Okay, that's all of the enemy units dealt with. Cool. You can't capture things. That means you have to do that. That does mean you have to do that. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. Done. Yeah, they're gonna keep doing that. It's, it's fine. It's fine. This is one flying, by the way. Oh, can't see anymore. I forget which one of our tanks were pre-patch and which ones were post-patch. So, closing with the Sicarian Infiltrator is a mistake. Their augmented craniums broadcast a brutally destructive audiovisual assault, causing enemies to fall deafened and blinded. Battles are often decided before even a single kill is confirmed. Well, good. Aren't you guys sounding very impressive? Okay, let's get over here. Good boys. Good boys. Alright, you head over there. And you head over here. And now we have even more upgrades. Good. So, so close, guys. So close. So close. And done. Uh, let's do the Cognis Heavy Stubber, shall we? Let's just get more units. Let's get the uh, Teraxii Sterilizers. Which I believe are the ones that, um, yeah, they burn people. So sterilizers that are going to deal with things like the Tyranids. Isn't that fun? Yep, yeah, bang, 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 etc. Yep, yeah, we get it. Well, nice. Evaluation. Quest, uh, Questoris deployment. So the infiltrators have located Benny. Two key facts emerge. First, that he is preparing to flee to orbit with a key artifact taken from the Astra Militarum, an ancient device that has some kind of control over the warp storms. Uh, normally fascinating in itself and something you could take in triumph back to Mars, if that were your objective. But he can seal you in, should he get to orbit. Second, that you simply do not have the siege weaponry to assault the fortress. I kind of do, though. Yet the noble scions of the Questorus Mechanicus await your orders. You are confident that a single Imperial Knight would crack the fortress wide open. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably would. Yeah, I think we can do it this turn, actually. Pretty, pretty sure we can do it this turn. Wow. Wow. Yep. Bang. 
And there it goes. Hey, they weren't wrong. <laughs> Alright then. So the Marine Fortress is in ruin. A pity that the Emperor's creations were wasted so, though they were not true servants of the Omnissiah. And, more critically, Benedict escaped, although he left his artifact in the ruins of the Apothecarian. But you do not have his data files on the planet. Irrelevant nonsense about active exodite technology embedded in the planet, like the artifact, something you will pay attention to when the world is yours. But here is what you were looking for. The Adeptus Astartes suspected that a shard of the Catan Deceiver was hidden in the Astra Militarum ranks. This is your target at last. This was what the Omnissiah sent you to find and seize. Alright then. Now we have to loiter a bit again, I suppose. Let's just get all of our air force moving up that way again. And we got tanks. Yay. Not sure what else to do now. Uh, well, we got another one of these. Let's keep going. I'll actually get some uh, an Onager Dune Crawler. Might be fun. Because we haven't seen them before. Although production has been slowed a lot by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, resource shortage. Minus 9.8. So yeah, we need we need more power. Quickly. And we are actually running low on ore now because I built that, and because of the the one reset, the one resource shortage is affecting our other resources. So it is, yeah, yeah. You don't want to go bankrupt, like I did. I could disband a couple of things, but uh, I don't want to. Oh, upkeep is twenty-two. All right, fine. But oh, yeah. Okay, let's move you guys out. You know what? What's your upkeep? Six. Ooh, wait, what? Oh, I wasn't going to upkeep. I was going to cost. I'm an idiot. Alright, fine. So these cost uh, energy. Upkeep. The others do not. It's fine. It's whatever. Let's give all the units. And another turn. So, uh, Teraxii sterilizers. Sterilizers are eradicators of cybernetic parasite organisms within ships and manufactura, and eagerly unleash the chemical fire of their phosphor torches upon the machine god's foes. They descend in flocks from the sky upon membranous wing packs, their vicious talons primed, eager to see their enemies writhe in flames. And finally, a thing. Defeat enemy camps. There's a couple of enemy camps, huh? Such was the success of the night assault that you order renovation of the Titan frame to be stepped up, ostensibly to undo Benedict's heretical sabotage, but you fear this is too late to aid in your true mission, to cap uh, the capture of this malevolent Catan. Campbell Neon 7 indicates that the Necrons have technology that could be used for this end. This is heresy, but the Omnissiah so commands. Alright, so we need to fight a bunch of Necron. Hi guys, hi. How's it going? Well, let's see how this goes. Probably not great. Oh, actually, maybe okay. Oh, maybe not. Really, really hard to tell. Let's electrocute somebody. Because <laughs> I can. Uh, let's electrocute that guy. Nice. And we can wipe out that entire unit. Excellent. Good stuff. Um, and we have this lad. Let's get him in there. Alright, let's wipe out those Praetorians. Um, you can... You have skimmer, so I can land here. Good. Well, not land, I suppose is the thing. Wipe out them too. You are going to run away. So, there are more down here as well. Wow, that's a lot. Well, they're going to keep us busy. They are going to keep us busy. So, that's all good-ish. It's good-ish. We'll wipe that out, which is nice. Um, Alright, you move here and wipe out. Oh, I can't quite wipe them out, but... Should be enough that they don't want to mess with us. That's good enough for me. So, if they come closer, they're gonna, they're gonna take a lot of hits. And, oh, I can actually reach him from this distance. Which I guess I probably will. I'll give it a go. And we have the Electro Priests now. Oh, that's actually a unit. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't realise that. How fun. Okay, well, you guys uh, loiter there. You loiter here. And you guys need to loiter um, here, I think. 
Okay, everyone start moving up. It's going to take a little while, that's for sure. Everybody move. Good. Uh, let's up their damage a bit. And uh, we'll see what I can do. Okay, I can wipe out those Praetorians. I would like to deal with this Doomsday Arc, though. You know, on account of it being a Doomsday Arc. Which we should probably read about, shouldn't we? Sure should. So, the Doomsday Arc. Victory through overwhelming firepower is a common tenet of Necron's strategic thinking. Nowhere is this more evident than the Doomsday Arc. Though deceptively fragile at first glance, the Doomsday Arc is a self propelled energy cannon whose raw, uh, unsubtle power is so vastly destructive that a single shot can turn the tide of battle. Uh, but yeah, I do, I do love these things. Because, like, that design, you know, all these little, little rib cages and things, it's got a very skeleton y look to it, but also it just resembles a big gun. Like, you can just totally see one of the, uh, like, Necron units just, like, you know, holding the trigger under this thing and just blasting away. It just, it looks like a gun. It's kind of the point, you know? But, like, it's really cool. And the Triarch Stalkers, these are pretty cool too. But, very similar to the, the other units that we have, it seems. So, Triarch Stalker, you know, the Dune Crawlers. I'm assuming they're quite similar. So, like an enormous spider, a Triarch Stalker looms over the battlefield, its devastating weaponry directed by a high-ranking Triarch Praetorian. When a Triarch Stalker advances, it does so with a speed and surety that belies its jerking gait. Indeed, it can cover all manner of terrain with a deftness and a precision seldom found in the walkers of less advanced races. Well, hooray, sounds great. Power Surge, is that going to help in any way? No, it would seem not. Cool. Um, so we'll deal with this lot, and then we'll move back. I love that we have so many flyers. It's really going to help speed things up, I think. Um, but there's a lot of enemies. You know, they get a good couple of turns on us. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to get pretty hurt. You need to just stop, then, if you have to go around. Just stop. Alright, everyone else can chill. Next up, the Cognis Heavy Stubber. Why the hell not? Good. Let's end the turn. So, what are you not going to do? Besides... Regenerate. I do hate that about them. Okay. Bunch of overwatches kicking off, as I expected. Though some of the shots seem to be slightly out of sync here. Maybe, maybe not. I think those Catafron, uh, Catafron destroyers are going to get destroyed there. Ooh, yeah, they are really pushing in quickly. That's perfect. This will speed things up. Or wipe us out, one or the other. You know, faster, more dead, I don't know, whatever. Uh, okay, that's 1.3 damage. Okay, we're fine. No, my Cataphron Destroyer. So we lost one unit. That tank is taking a bit of damage too. Wow, our, our morale up there isn't particularly good. Uh, they're doing a number on us. Ooh. Yeah, we're taking heavy damage across the board here. But hopefully, it's not going to matter much. So, Cognis Heavy Stubber. This is for the Dune Crawlers, which we don't have any, but that's fine. Cognis Weaponry, though superficially similar to that used by the rest of the Imperium, has one vital difference. A Cognis Weapon's machine spirit has been permanently awakened by the rights of the Machine God. When the wielder is unable to give his full concentration, the warlike spirit of the gun will take fire. In other words, it has a targeting computer. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um... Oh, that's the Transvector, so yeah, it's not going to do as much work. Uh, let's see. Alright, I can basically kill everything there, that's fine. We're going to move in here, stamp on somebody. Yeah, those Triarch Praetorians are getting stamped on, that's for sure. They're all going to die. That's fine. I don't even need to wipe out units, I just need to make sure that, like, damage is being done, basically. Okay, let's target him. Let's kill them. Let's kill that. And then over here, uh, you guys can move in here and not actually get that much damage in here, actually. These aren't the best. Yeah, they're fine, I guess. But it's not a hero unit, so, you know. God, everyone's just gonna. Fine. You know what? Never mind. I go down here. Have my own. Have my own party. Okay, get everyone in. 
Oh, and you need to keep moving up too. Okay, good. Let's stamp on you. Because you look very stampable. You silly triarch Praetorians. Silly. And now let's blow this up. And there it goes. Brilliant. Uh, next up, let's kill these guys. Can't do much damage with that. Okay, can wipe this out. So let's do that. And... Alright, you may as well take a poke at those guys. And... And I'll tank and push them off, screw it. Okay, you guys attack there. I, you know, I am quite tempted to move here, stamp on them, and start shooting things. I think, I think I'm going to do that. Let's just finish off this unit. So, bang. And then we'll blow up this thing. Or will we? Seven damage. And less damage. Okay, you know what? I'll blow this up. Good. Bang. How's everyone doing? Oh, you haven't shot anything yet, have you? Nice. Okay. Shoot them. So, basically wiped out these guys now. They're basically gone. It's kind of insane. Okay, uh, more power, please. I need more power. Alright, you know what? Claim a tile, then. That one. Then more power. Then this one. Still, still working on power. I really do need more power. But I guess we do have a bunch of everything, so we're kind of fine. Uh, you stay where you are. You stay where you are. You stay where you are. You guys are all fine. Yeah, that'll do. Although I guess I could recruit more stuff. That only upkeep. For, that's only food upkeep, so might as well get more of them. Choose the research. Benediction of omniscience. It's gonna take three turns now. Who's not getting the research we're supposed to? It's okay. All right, taking some damage. Nothing major. You know, our knights are still going, and we do have the ability to give him, like, a bunch of health back. Which I'm sure we'll manage. I <laughs> can tread on one of them, blast someone else. Yeah, we're laughing. Okay. Plenty of shots fired. Yep, yeah, this knight is taking a lot of hurt. Taking a lot of punishment. If we can just get the tanks in here, I'd be laughing. So can I tread on you? I can, but it wouldn't quite kill it. Um, oh, I can't just kill it with him. I'll walk forwards to here, and then tread on one of these and blow up the other one. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Oh, I can't quite get there. Shame. I have to stand on him instead. You know, once these guys stop shooting at me, Okay, keep moving up. Moving on up. Okay, you did great. Now, who are you going to blow up? Could kill all of them. Should probably destroy one of these guys though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good news. Uh, yeah, you can destroy that. And you can destroy that. Amazing. Yeah, not even doing damage bonuses. We're just, we're just killing everything. Incredible. Alright, let's tread on you. Immortals. Evidently not. And then I am going to... I can't quite destroy that Doomsday Arc. Shame. Oh, I won't bother then. I'll just wipe out another unit. And you guys go go hide. Also, uh, we need 27. I'm very confused. Okay, I guess our hab thingies are also limited right now. From resource shortage. Interesting. So that's how it does it. Okay, so everything's getting real screwed over by this this shortage. I really should just get rid of one of these guys. Because, let's see. How long before we have... Oh, it's going to take four turns to take over a place. And for you, three more turns to build that. Yeah, we really just need to disband some of this nonsense. We can get more planes. Just everything is shot right now because of this. So, um, let's disband you. It consumes their action. You can't shoot stuff and then disband them. That's ridiculous. 
It's absurd, is what that is. Alright, you two. Sorry, mate. It's a pain, but it's got to be done. Because, yeah, everything else is ore upkeep, so... Nothing else would quite do it. It's okay. We're basically done anyway. Uh, yeah, you can kill them. Uh, you can shoot them. Take a pot shot of those guys. You can finish them off. <laughs> Got another one there. Oh, no, that's the one I shot with first. Never mind. I thought we had another one that just turned up. Okay, you can shoot them. And... What's next? Is that everybody? Uh, I think it kind of is. Cool. Let's crack on. Oh. That oh, was the one's up there. Fair enough. Uh, so our Knight Crusader here, still still taking heavy damage. I'm amazed it hasn't leveled up yet, genuinely. I don't understand how it's not leveled up. It's destroyed so much stuff. It's destroyed so much. How has it not got up experience to level up yet? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, that's... hang on. You can do six hit points. Who can do lots of hit points? You can. There we go. You move over here and heal this guy up for 24 hit points. Which is, like, more than any of these guys can handle. So, tread on him. I am an Imperial Knight. Well, no, you're commanding one. Sure. Like, isn't there a big crew in an Imperial Knight? It's, just, it's not one guy being like, Ha ha, I'm a knight. I am the knight. I'm the Batman. I, I have no idea. Maybe there is. Maybe that's how they roll. Who am I to judge? Alright, let's finish that off. Start taking random pot shots at you and you. We, oh, hang on. Can you reach them? You can, and wipe them out. So let's step on them. I'm actually kind of amazed that um, this bottom lot got wiped out as quickly as it did. But then I guess we did have quite an army down here. It really seemed like we had most power up here with all the, with all the you know, planes being able to wipe out a unit each turn, it seems. But yeah, that did good. Did good. And I guess you can move to there. That'll finish them off, so that'll be one camp destroyed. Right? Well, yep, one destroyed. And now... Uh, oh no, still them there. Ah, oh, god, it's gonna take one more turn. It's gonna take one more turn regardless. Ah, oh, that's a shame. And we can't actually get those guys. Oh, no, I can. You haven't shot yet. Never mind. Bang. You've always got to say bang, or it doesn't work. Yeah, these guys are all that's left. These are mortals. And we also have uh, scrolls of, of Magnus, which I should probably equip on someone. Do I have anyone with any equipment slots? No, I don't, do I? No, I sure don't. Sure as hell don't. Okay, moving on. Just the Immortals left. And then I'm assuming there'll be another invasion that'll be more Adeptus Mechanicus. It'll be us versus Benny, right? Gotta assume, right? So, those blessed enough to comprehend this blaring Vox prayer find their targeting reticules guided by the Omnissiah's own vigilance. Who should we who should we get to do it? Tech Priest Manipulus. Ah, just stab him. Bang, bang. Spinning leg kick. And there we go. So, implementation and slash or simulation. The Deceiver fought well. Later, long after the battle is done, you invite uh, Desita Cambronion 7 to the ruins of the Marine Fortress, where you can be alone, where you can gloat. You hear him enter the fallen apothecary and pride overwhelms your restraint protocols. You declare that you have delivered the Deceiver Shard to the Omnissire. Query, Omnissire? Heretic, a flat voice states. It is not the des uh, Deceter, it is Benedict, somehow. You try to shut him out, to signal for aid, but your commands go unanswered. His permissions exceed yours now. You feel distantly he has been able to take over your city without alerting you, without a shot being fired. As your Skitari, now Benedict, enter, you feel him taking ultimate control, even of you somehow. Your mechanical parts are shutting down, your ancient human organs cannot sustain you. The darkness closes about you, and in the dark you feel the Omnissire enter, empowered. Glory, glory, glory. 
trapped in your dying flesh, in your mind's eye, you see the ruined apothecarian filled with static alleyuyas. You feel joy as his body, living metal, chitin, iridescent ichor, black stone crackling in its wake, sways above you all. You don't know if this is, uh, this is in your dying mind or reality anymore, but you'd swear that the other screams are real, very real. Later, you think this is later, you are bowing to your master, the saviour of mankind, your omnissiah. You are rejuvenated, in control again. Everything is so clear, you understand it all. Are you deceived? Now you return to the Titan frame, your greatest gift to him, and rule this world at his command. Okay, secure invasion for ten turns. Keep arcane infundibulum alive? Okay, so we survive ten turns and then we win. So what the hell are you, scorpion tank? You're a big boy. You're a big old big boy. And it's another one of those invasions where it's just like, a couple dudes are going to spawn. Oh, actually, I made a few dudes, I suppose. Although, what on earth? Okay, that's a Tau unit. So we're getting Tau and Elder attacking us. So it seems to be, um... I, I think... Oh, and and more Tau. I think it's just stuff that the that Benny could possess, basically. I think it's all just like Xenos technology that he's taken, all willy-nilly. You know? That yeah, could be the case. Which is pretty cool. I get some shots in. Nice. Uh, yeah, that is a big boy. Can I get him with my Skitari Sky Marshal, whatever the hell he hell's it called? Not Sky Marshal, whatever he is. Alright, so let's get you over here. Start blasting. I don't think these Wraith Blades are going to survive all that long. Yeah, we can have him. Yeah, we good. We good. And now... Oh, we have an Onager Dune Crawler. I actually built one now. Isn't that fun? Those little spider legs. Which makes me assume this is where the um, the, the Demon Engine got their ideas from. But uh, who's to say? Also, look at our income right now. We have so much more stuff. Now that we actually have more people, we can actually... Well, now that we have more of our... Uh, uh, what are they called? The hab fanes able to function because we have, have power. Now all of our power facilities can be manned, so we're having more power. So it's just like, yeah. We were getting absolutely screwed by everything. By everything. Don't be bankrupt, guys. It's a dumb. You can quote me on that. Uh, so this guy, Wraith Knight, this is pretty, pretty cool. We have a Wraith Knight fight. Sleep tight, Wraith Knight. He said, assuming it was a cool thing to say. To be fair, a one-turn Wraith Knight kill sounds um, pretty great. Pretty, pretty good. Ah, I can't quite kill them all. Or can I? Oh, that did kill... No, it didn't. Okay, go get him. Bang, bang, bang. So there's a lot of stuff coming in. Awful lot of stuff. So, let's read about some of it. Now that we've wrapped up a lot of it. Sounds perfect. So, the Skyray gunship. A skimmer tank uh, unit equipped with powerful missiles. Fun. While the Hammerhead is a dynamic hunter, its sister ship, the TX-78 Skyray, is a far more sinister killer. Mounting a complement of seeker missiles beneath its upswept ordnance racks, the Skyray typically lurks behind the main tower advance, remaining mute and concealed until the moment comes to strike. The Skyray often fulfills a supporting role, and its ballistic arsenal can be called in by any Tau with a marker light to carry out a remote strike on sufficiently valuable target. Very cool. Then the Wraith Knight that we killed. Uh, dominating the battlefield, the Wraith Knight looks down upon its foes like a vengeful god of war. Armed with either massive energy cannons or a colossal blade and shield, this giant ghost warrior can unleash blazing destruction or charge in to carve apart its foes. Inside its wraithbone hull, its pilot consumes with, uh, sorry, communes with the soul of his twin, for this ghost warrior is driven by two Eldari, one living and one dead, working as one. Which is very bizarre. 
And then the Scorpion. The Scorpion is an Eldari super heavy grav tank, utilized exclusively by the Craftworld Eldari, and is amongst the largest vehicles recorded capable of anti-gravitic movement in the galaxy. Known to the Eldari as one of the engines of Vul, it combines sophisticated and powerful weaponry with the grace and speed that have come to be associated with the Eldari's vehicles. Protected by a hollow field and armed with twin-linked pulsars, the Scorpion has earned nicknames like the Grave Maker and Death Sled from the appearing of man's veteran tank crews. Yeah, I mean, look at it. Big old big boy. Uh, and then, uh, Transcendent Catan discovered. Oh, okay, hi. Uh, Transcendent Catan are all that remain of the once mighty star gods. They are echoes of their former selves, splinters of energy that survived the Necron's betrayal, and were trammeled in Tesseract uh, labyrinths. Ancient, archaic technologies shackle these beings to the will of their Necron masters, compelling them to obey and reducing them to the merest echoes of their ancient majesty. Yet even in their reduced and fettered state, Transcendent Katana are still beings of immense power. Here he is. Hi. Hi, hi Arcane Infidimilulium. Hi. There's a little shackle on him. He's very weird looking, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Also, I find it interesting that the Catan do look... Uh, well, I mean, they're humanoid, aren't they? They are humanoid. We wonder if... Uh, if they're related, you know? Also, we have the uh, XV-88 broadside battlesuits with deliberate strides. Uh, XV-88 battlesuits. Or probably 1588. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's XV, maybe it's 15. I don't know. Be weird to have Roman numerals and numerals, but I don't know. It's just a thought. So the XV-88 broadside battlesuits advance into optimum firing positions each. Uh, inside each of the heavily armoured battlesuits, hollow targeting data dances across the bretonnes of the grim-faced pilot as he swings a suit's mighty guns towards the foe. Each broadside is a walking gun battery, carrying either a twin-linked heavy rail rifle that can smash through Imperial power armour as though it were glass, or high-yield missile pods capable of wiping out swathes of enemy infantry in lethal explosions. They're pretty cool. I like these guys. They're fun. Gundams. They're cool. Uh, okay. Is that everybody? I think... Oh, no, these guys haven't gone yet, but, uh... Uh, yeah, let's have you move up that way. And land grinders. Yeah, this guy didn't get a name. He's still just Night Crusader. What the hell? Unbelievable. And this guy has less health. Hang on. How exactly do you get given a name? I thought you just leveled up and it would give you a name. Because this guy clearly has leveled up more. He has way more health. So that's very strange. It was just because these guys are stood next to him. I have no idea. But, well, whatever. We have a crazy magic... thing. You're super weird. You are a skimmer, right? I don't know. Uh, he's got some good damage reduction. A lot of health, too. I'll just move you up here. Good boy. Alright, you go there. You can move up. And that'll do. Pedorum Vos Prime. Actually, I am going to have a quick look here. So, uh, we need 12 people here. We don't quite have that yet. Okay, so we can't get that. I can get some more energy, though. Let's have a look. Uh, acquire Tile. I guess I'll get that one. Oh, wait, hang on. Maybe I won't, because I've got a bunch of ore facilities there, so I guess I get this one to get the adjacency bonuses. Cool. That would be good for technology, but I mean, we kind of have enough technology. Alright. Oh god, yeah, of course. He doesn't care for gravity. <laughs> Not his thing. Not his thing. Uh, right, you can move there and shoot some stuff. Good boy. Oh, I could have upped your damage. Oh, that was sloppy of me. Very sloppy. It's fine. We'll we'll work it out. Uh, so you can shoot this guy for a bit of damage. That'll be exciting. Um, you head over that way. Ooh, Overwatch. Totally knackering that guy. And you can move up here. Let's heal him up a bit. So there will be more enemies turning up. It's not just these guys. Move over here. I'll stand on them. Boom. 
Uh, you move over there. Uh, you guys should be able to deal with these Wraith Blades. Sure can. And you can finish them off. Good. Good stuff. Okay. Now, oh, you can't quite finish them off. Should be able to if you walk close. Good. And, oh, he's going to overwatch with his rockets. Nice. Not nice enough, though. Not nice enough. Uh, I guess that'll do. Cool. So, who's next? Alright. Our city is going to do some work to him. Thing is, our city is vulnerable, you know. So is this guy. Dune Crawler, definitely dead. A, a Dune Crawler, that usually in, in packs of thousands, is no match for a Scorpion. That is the heaviest, most advanced tank in the universe, basically. Though, you know, we don't need to float off the ground. We have a billion guns. Like, what are you going to do? Um, so that's nice. Yeah, you get over here. Everyone gets stuck in. Oh, hello. I found another one. We're popular today. Should have buffed the damage again. Why do I keep doing this? That's fine. You can you can shoot me. Ooh, maybe not, actually. That hurts. Also, there's a bloody Wraith Knight behind me. Cheeky. Okay, come on. Let's have him, yeah? Let's keep healing it, too. Wow. This is mean. Very mean. Oh, no. I didn't give him the extra damage there. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why do I keep doing this? I was going to blame the fact that it's late. It is very late. Uh, okay, let's trample him. I just like trampling. Oh, I can't trample him, can I? Should have just shot him. That's okay. Alright, you guys deal with them, please. He's destroyed. Ooh, Wraith Knight on his way. You know what they're like. Alright. This Wraith Knight probably, probably can do some work, honestly. Probably gonna do some work to us. They are not that friendly. Uh, so that's all going well. Yeah, that Wraith Knight's gonna be a problem too. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose some troops, guys. I think we're gonna lose some troops. What we're gonna want is more Night Crusaders. Hell yeah. Lovely. Okay, good. That'll do. End the turn. Alright, he's moving in. He's gonna take a pot shot or something, right? Oh, come on. Someone else overwatch, yeah? Nice, there it goes. Well played, Mr. Dominus. Johnny Dominus. Oh, Johnny Dominoes, we call him. Ooh, he's gonna sting. But how much, though? Uh, oh, 4.5. Not much, apparently. So, Fedorum Vos Prime. The cult mechanicus priesthood venerate the forge world of Vos Prime for its loyalty above all others. His loyalty to the Imperium is second to none. Even when Mars itself fell to the Dark Mechanicum, Vos Prime continued to churn out armaments and was instrumental in the defeat of the Horus Heresy. Well, isn't that nice? Uh, so nice. So nice that uh, all the fight has been taken out of me. I have no longer the will to fight after such a lovely story. So you're going to have to come back tomorrow, guys. I know. What a segue. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, which, by all accounts, is probably going to be the finale. So you don't want to miss it. I'll see you then, guys. Have a good one.